Hey guys, this is Dr. Axel with Expo Industries. We're here doing a TARDIS walkthrough or apartment walkthrough of my home. It's been a year. Let's see it go through. Let's TARDIS go. door in my corridors. There's some new pictures that I put up outside the door that are just jokes, and one of them are very serious, which is don't touch my collectibles unless you want to be injured. The collectibles injury is a rule I have. When you come to visit, you don't get touchy-feely with my collectibles, and that's one of the many rules I have. Hello and welcome to the TARDIS. This is the corridor leading to the chambers, bathing chambers, and console room. But just to not spoil anything, we'll close the TARDIS doors behind me. We've got a little sweller there, but nothing you can't see yet. And that's, we'll get there soon. This is my corridor, and this is where I have some collectibles. I'm planning to put some L shaped black shelves in the hallway and get a plug put in so I can have some lights. And that's mostly where the door, the this door is going to be upgraded to be a pl uh, complete uh, bookshelf th door. And then some of the collectibles there will have to move depending if I have my, uh, my bookshelf doors in the way. This is the TARDIS door here, which is my baby. I had a custom bill, it cost me $200. I'm not the do I'm Dr. Expo, so I'm from a different universe than the doctor is. That's why my windows are so different and my police box is different. This is a sword that I got from Fan Expo. It's the long claw sword. And then we see my horse Seattle my ex horse Seattle's halter. And then we see the the TARDIS exit door. And that's pretty much it. Hey guys, this is my bathing chambers. The, the duly know I did get a job at Tim Hortons, so this whole pl the room is going to change dramatically. Like, this medicine cabinet's not going to be here. This tile rack is going to up be upgraded. I'm doing all tile up the walls and the ceiling, and this is going to be a whole new room. I do have my horse Seattle's, my past horse Seattle's uh, halter here, which will find a new home for it when this room does upgrade because this door won't be here i'm putting a bookshelf door in and i hope you enjoy these videos don't again don't forget to like this video this is my bathing chambers i have three different war, uh shower curtains this wardrobe there is going to change same with that shower cur shower rod and that's going to get a storage unit put in and then there's going to be a uh, a whole new vanity put in and then there's going to be also a new uh, toilet put in there's there's going to be also a TV going on that wall there and there's going to be a bookshelf door going where the store is now hey there guys this is my chambers where most of my family and now passed into high heavens family are immortalized and most of my memories in here are really happy but also sad because i've had to say farewell to several family members in the past but most of my companions are immortalized here like you'll see over there is the family wall and most of my family photos are immortalized here from my adventures from when i was a kid to where i had nothing and not even a pair of socks to now having a multi-billion dollar home. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because helping out subscribing really helps me out. I want to become pro. And yeah. As you come in, you see my my many, you may have to, my many, my wardrobe where my socks, under and socks are, tank tops are, my shorts, my work clothes, my signatures for my extended family, and most of my family. A picture of one of my friends. And then you come around, you see my fan here, my fireplace where that little stand there is where my fireplace will be. And it will be the one that you'll see later on in the video. I just have a fireplace on the TV because I currently don't have a fireplace in my living room, in my bed, ch bathing ch or chambers. 
and that's where I plan to go and have a fireplace in here. There will be an electric fireplace, so it will actually be a real fireplace, but it'll still do the same thing. And as you come around, you'll see my graveyard for my family, my grandma, uncle, and dog. I haven't put a photo of my dad in there yet. I haven't had a chance to. Uh, there's the area where my Sonics used to be. You'll see them in another part of the TARDIS. And then some books that I just have randomly. And then a retired police box that got dan that I got rid of because I just didn't have the space for it anymore. And then we come down to my bracer for my automail because I had robotic a few robotic limbs. And then we come up to my Twilight movies and books. And then we come up to the extended family photos of my family, either blood, foster, or extended. And the TARDIS, the TARDIS is signed by Karen Glenna. And then as we come up, we get a photo of my Hobbit collection. And then as you come around, you see my more prized possessions, which is my Assassin's Creed and Batflick. And then a statue given to me by Bill Kaufman who made a statue that said Think Before Running and a plaque made by my foster mom that says TARDIS. And then we have Tracer on underneath. And we have another Assassin's Creed photo figurine down below. As we come up, we get a photo of my Joker book, which I plan to get signed by Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamble. And then this book here is a book of my original TARDIS, or not my TARDIS, my original book of Tom Baker from his year. I have a VHS and DVD. And then as we go up from that, we come to my Ruby figurine that's mint condition. You'll see more of those as you come along with me in this journey. And then as we come along, we see my Marvel collection and my Ruby, Ruby Blu-rays, which I plan to get volumes seven and eight. And then as you come down, you see more family photos and more Ruby figurines that are mint condition. And then finally, some of my, uh, my, um, my collectible mugs. And if we'll pause it here and pick it up. As we come up to my bed with my many pillows, we come up to my three favorite Doctor Who magazines. And then my uh, uh, a dream catcher and ball that's supposed to give me good dreams and catch my bad dreams. And then we have my many different photos of my adventures through time and space with my companions and some of my extended family. As we come around, we see my my graveyard for my cat fit girl. The graveyard is my black cat that you see in that photo there of uh, Figaro, and then some loot crates that I got. I may get rid of those, I don't know yet. Uh, oh yeah, and then we have uh, my stuffed animals, which is a whale that I call Willie, because he was my first pet, my first stuffed animal I got when I was little. He's been with me through everything. And then as we come around, we see more photos of my TARDIS, and then as, as we come down to there, we see my uh, my lanyards and some of my TARDIS upgrades and the alchemic set, which holds my darker half. Merrick, we never want to meet him. And then as we come along, we'll see more of my family photos and a rack of my coats. Some of those coats don't fit me anymore, so I have to go through them and actually decide to get rid of some of them and some photos. This is my coat rack where most of my coats sit. This whole wall here is gonna get upgraded to be a, uh, a proper wardrobe. And that's pretty much it. At the end of the tour of the chambers, you come to see my Ruby section and my Fan Expo book section. My Fan Expo book section is very precious to me. I've been going since 2012. I'm an avid Fan Expo E. And that's pretty much the TARDIS.
my Capaldi 12th Doctor and 11th Doctor Man Smith photos. I hope you're enjoying this video, and I really worked a lot to collect these these signatures and photos. That's some of this stuff isn't signed, but I do plan to sign, get it signed. And the only headache I have is money wise getting a job that actually wants to keep me around but like and then you're coming up to my certificate i am a certified time lord thanks to a questionnaire i took it made me a certified time lord and then the photos you're seeing there are custom photos of sick kids hospital booth photos and a theater theater photo of capaldi when his first episode aired and then you're also going to come see also my uh my photos previously of my mats my daleks and gallifrey falls no more painting that i plan to upgrade with the photographer right now and then we have my sick kids hospital booth with my spray painted tardis right to the left of you and then we have the exploding tardis with a uh a um uh kermit the frog and a materializing hot coffee drink thing and the hogwarts i plan to turn this whole glass county you're about to see into a hogwarts kind of harry potter themed based uh and then you're seeing my two sonics that were originally my original sonics from when i was the first when i first became the doctor and then you're also seeing my my wand and some of my other wonderful collectibles that I have from the years. I have my Goku and Vegeta Funko Pops with my Sonics on the top of the shelf. And we have my Goku and Be Goku All Master All Terrain Sync and Goku Super Saiyan Blue. Some boxes that I kept from my figurines. The Goku that you see there that's in Super Saiyan Blue is actually. My uh, a figure a model that I got from my friend Sean, he made that for me. He well, he didn't make it; he bought it for me. And then we have my Fez at the top here, and a 25 anniversary uh, uh, cap that I got. And then we have some signatures from the voice of Joel and Booker from Last of Us and Bioshock, and some voice actors that have. The voice, the voice of Dobby, Todoroki, and Ch and Floppy. I don't actually remember her name. I know I'm going to butcher it if I try. And then as we come down, we see my Twilight books there. And my Frodo, Mary, Pippin, Sam. I had Mary and Pippin sign fellowship because I wanted it to feel like the start of the fellowship, the end of the fellowship with Sam and Frodo. I was going to get all four to sign two towers, but ran out of money. I'm out of storage, aren't I? These are my close-ups of my Joel and Booker signatures by the actor that plays Joel. I forget his name. I haven't. I think it's Troy Baker. I'm pretty sure. Uh, these are the voices and the, the actors that signed my Bungo Pops. I am proud that they did. I paid them to do it, though, so it cost me a pretty penny. I did them last year at 2022's uh, Fan Expo. These are my Frodo, Mary, and Pippin, and then my Uncomplete signatures and my Frodo and Sam signatures. So this is the chair that my grandpa had made for my grandma. That blanket that Deadpool won, my grandma actually died, died in her sleep with. Uh, the two pictures you see here are of uh, my heroes, Logan Paul, Justin Bieber, and Lance 210. Logan Paul because he's, I dream of looking like him someday, and Justin Bieber because he's a recovering addict. And then we'll get a close-up of my, the Fan Expo schematics. This is how big Fan Expo is, from the north building to the south building. And as we come along, we see my glorious... Uh, Fan Expo logo and the Gallifrey symbols that I used to fly the TARDIS. This is also where I plan to, as we come down from here, I plan to put some curtains up in there 
And then this is my where the fireplace sound that I'm using. I'm actually upgrading that Google Pixel to a Samsung SA Plus. And this area here will have a 34-inch monitor hooked into my archive star, which is right there. And the Google Home is there too. This is where my MacBook setup is. I just got it upgraded with uh, RGB mouse, key, mouse and keyboard. And that's the, and then this, the, the chair that you'll see there too is also going to get upgraded to have my Expo Industries logo in the, uh, the logo. Guitar's console. Very soon it will be upgraded to a proper console that will be powered by a Raspberry Pi that is going to be also powering the monitor that I will have powering my, uh, the the tires basically will be upgraded to a full size console. You're about to see my my custom made pillows, and then you're also seeing some collectibles that I got that are pins and some necklaces. Then you also have my ruby collection, which is my my white vein logo, my Blake and Yane signatures, which are actually Andrea Kane and Kelly Swick signatures, my selfies with all the crew of Ruby, and then also some selfies that I got with the crew from Ruby again. This is a, as we come along here, we see more of my Ruby signatures and more of my Ruby photos that I have of the TARDIS and, or of Ruby. And this is my Monty Ohm grave which has keep moving forward. And then as we come up there, these are recently signed photos from Ruby. And as we come down, we have the non-announced Ruby photo signed by the four girls themselves. And that's the Ruby signatures. Up we see my Ruby figurines, which are mint condition. Well, not mint because they're out of the box, but like they're my prize and joy. I love them because they're my babies and I care about them so much. Then we come up to Barbara Dunkelman, Yane, and Cinder, who plays played by Jessica Negri, and my Halo and Darth Vader helmet. And as we come around here, we see my main condition Ruby Funko Pops and a main condition Ruby figurine that I got with my my collectibles that you just saw. And that's signed by Adam Weston Ward, that lunchbox. And as we come down, we see my toilet collection of lunchbox and thermos and book, which is signed by Stephanie Meyer. The Sonic Lantern, which is going to get autographed by Matt Smith. And then as we come up, we see my Jessica, ne Jessica Negri signatures and a photo of Jessica Negri playing Tracer. As we come around, we see the front door to my house. And then uh, as we come around, we see my, my, my fridge. And then as we come up to my sink, we see my precious, beautiful sign photos of previous Dr. Expo before he became Dr. Expo. And as we come around there, we later see all my, all my utensils were cooked cooking my food and my San Lee signature and my Matt Smith signature. The receiver there will be upgraded to a 13.2 channel receiver and the speakers you've been seeing will be upgraded to clip speakers. Then we come up to my Adam Sa Kevin Smith and Adam Savage photo ops and a dire wolf head named Handles. And then we have some Assassin's Creed artwork and my curved 55 inch TV. And as we come down, we see my PS3, PS2, and Nintendo Switch and Diffuser. And we have also my fireplace, which is that fireplace there will be going in the bedroom. And a wall mounted fireplace will be purchased soon. As we come around there, we later see. The uh, the collectibles that I had in my hallway, you may remember them from a previous video. 
And that's the TARDIS. I hope you enjoyed. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you around. Dr. Expo out.